Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I want to take a look at the UI control dashboard node and you can find it here amongst the dashboard nodes and if you drag it into a flow which I've done here into my demo flow and you then click on the information tab uh, you get a very useful uh, ALP screen here and I recommend you take a read of that. Uh, before that though um, I'm going to do a little demo I'm going to show you how to use it. Now you can see here it says the default function is to change the currently displayed tab and what we're going to use it for is for creating dynamic uh, menus and this is actually a a working uh, flow here you can see it here and normally you've got loads of tabs now what I've done here is in this admin tab I've combined all the admin functions into a single tab and when I click on this one here what will change here is this portion of the screen here so this will let me manage emails this will let me manage backups you can see how it's all changing and this will let me look at the logs and this will let me look at uh, invoices and this will let me sync databases etc so you can see here I've created a mini menu and when we click here we actually change what appears down here and we can also use it for changing tabs dynamically but what we're going to do here is for actually hiding and, and displaying uh, groups of nodes in the admin tab here. Now I'm not going to use this one but it's a bit too complex what we're going to be working with is a demo flow and this is a, a demo flow here. Now if we just take a quick look at the tutorial on the site this just has a little diagram here explaining uh, roughly what's going on. Now normally we use tabs for uh, displaying things and we put on the tabs we put uh, our nodes into groups so we've got here on tab 1 we've got group 1, group 2 and group 3 and on tab 2 we've got group 4, group 5 and group 6 and each of these groups contains a collection of nodes and it's irrelevant what these nodes are now usually you put things into tabs because they have this uh, similar functionality. Now what you could do is you could put all of these these groups onto a single tab. Now the problem with that is it looks a bit messy and it doesn't make sense to combine things that uh, are totally different. In other words it doesn't make sense to combine managing emails with uh, managing backups. So it's nice to keep them separate. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put all these groups onto a single tab and we're going to actually hide them and display them depending on what we select in the menu. So let's have a look at the, the demo flow and what we've got here is we've got, we've got um, a menu here which is admin 1, admin 2 and a reset. Now this reset basically shows all of the groups on a single tab and you can see here admin 1 group and admin 2 group are shown on a single tab and admin 1 contains a chart node and a gauge and uh, admin 2 contains a, a selection box and a, a date box. Now these nodes here aren't functional as such there's nothing going into them, there's nothing driving them so you won't see anything on them they're just there for illustration and for the sake of this demo it makes no difference. Now when I click on admin 1 it just shows admin 1. When I click on admin 2 it just shows admin 2 and when I click on reset it shows both of them. So how do we do this? Well if we go back to the help screen it says the um, the dashboard pages can be controlled by sending a, a payload uh, with a format like this. Now this is showing that for the tabs uh, what I'm using is the the group one which is this here. So basically what we're doing is we're injecting an object into the UI control node here and by doing that we're actually changing what is being displayed. Now if I if I look at this, this all it is is a button and if I look at the button that we got a payload. Now the structure of this object is explained in the in the help um, menu or the help uh, tab um, but what we've got here is basically a group and uh, that's one key and in inside that group we've got two keys or two objects rather uh, we've got one which is hide which is obviously it's going to hide that, those particular elements and we've got one which is show which is going to show those particular elements. So what we're hiding here this is the admin 1 button and when we click it we hide admin 2 you can see here. Now the way we structure these is very important it, it's tab name which is admin and 
underscore group name which is admin2 so that's the structure we're using tab underscore group and they are case sensitive so it's very important that you actually get the correct case so on the show menu we're going to show the control and we're going to show admin1 so this is going to display the admin1 nodes and it's going to hide the admin2 nodes and if we go onto admin2 it does the opposite as you'd expect it's going to hide the admin1 node and it's going to show the control and the admin2 node and if we go on to the reset it's not going to hide anything it's going to show the control admin2 and admin1 so remember case sensitive tab name underscore group name okay so very very straightforward once you've done it a few times I must admit when I first started using this I had to go onto a couple of forums to find out how to, how to do it uh, but once you've used it a few times it's quite straightforward now not only can you control um, what appears on a tab with this in other words show and hide groups on, on a tab you can also use it for switching tabs and part of this demo flow which you can download and I say the best way to learn how to use this is to download the, the demo flow and, and play with it uh, we can also uh, control the tabs and I've got a couple of buttons here that do that so if I click on this it shows the admin tab and which we'll be seeing now and if I click on the home tab it shows the the home tab I haven't got them and I click on the admin and it goes back to the admin tab okay uh, I haven't used it in any flows any working flows anyway to change tabs but I, but I do use it a lot in this context where we are displaying multiple groups on a single page and I'm hiding the groups I don't want to show and I'm showing the groups I do want to show so that is a very common use as far as I'm concerned so that brings us to the end of the video uh, if you like the video then please click on the like button uh, if you've got any comments on the video then use the comment form below if you go over to the website uh, I do publish a newsletter on on the website you can always sign up for that for the newsletter and you can always subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel so until next time goodbye